Testosterone. That's not just a word, it's a promise. The missing puzzle piece for feeling young, powerful, happy and strong. Who wouldn't want a life like that? I do, absolutely. You know when I would start it myself? Dr. Stefan Buntrock, board certified urologist, one of the most copied urologists on YouTube? Ha, gotcha. You thought I was going to tell you up front? No, it's in the video. Along with the do's and don'ts of testosterone replacement therapy, TRT. Dynamite or bomb? Let's find out right after you've subscribed, liked and shared. Feeling tired? Weaker? Lost interest in sex? You're 52 or even 32 and it makes no sense? Wouldn't it be great if there was something to blame, something to fix? Western societies have condensed that hope into one word. Testosterone. The hormone. The hello I can fix everything hormone. At least that's how it's sold in clinics, online, even on social media. And you know what? It could be just that easy. I remember very clearly the first time one of my patients came to my office. He was in his late 30s with an unexplained low T. No other doctor has had the guts to tackle that problem. But he was in very bad shape. Not physically, but mentally. I gave him testosterone and he changed completely. Within weeks, he was unrecognizable in the best possible way. I see him once in a while and check that everything is still okay. So if you came to my office, would I give you testosterone? Most probably not. And here's why. It's never just about a blood test. Your testosterone levels rise and fall during the day, change from one day to the next, and can be pushed down by all kinds of conditions. Chances are high that you are just going through a phase, that you are not sick, that your symptoms mean something else. Testosterone won't fix that, only if you believe it's the missing piece, and that's the placebo effect. In that case, injecting water would work just as well. So here's the reality about testosterone, and it's not what the ads tell you. It takes weeks and months to take effect. The example I just showed you tells this story. So don't think you'd inject tea and the same day you start to feel a difference. You can only feel effects when you are deficient. If you stay within natural limits, you won't be able to feel it. That's different if you push your levels way beyond natural limits, which I'm not recommending. We'll get to the bomb part later and you'll see why it could blow up in your face. And of course, I will reveal my personal strategy at the end of the video, promise. But first, let's start with the dynamite. If you haven't subscribed to Euro channel, now's a good time. By the time you hit 40, testosterone drops about 1% per year. That's normal. It's not dangerous. It's not a disease. But in some men, the drop is steep and they feel it. Low mood, weakness, less sexual desire, slower beard growth. If you want a quick check, Google the AMS 40 questionnaire. If your score is high and your morning testosterone is low on at least two separate occasions, it might be worth a try, but only after ruling out thyroid issues, prolactin problems and any cancer. Then you need three months for a fair trial. And here's the simple rule. If after three months you have to think about whether it's working, it's not. And one more thing, this is not medical advice. See your local doctor, especially if you're young. For me, a 20 or 30 year old on TRT is a hard no, unless there's a serious medical reason, genetic disorders, damage after cancer treatment, things like that. Because once you move from therapy to self-experiment, the fuse is already burning and that's the bomb. Why can testosterone be dangerous? Most men think, the more the better. Wrong. The goal is not to explore strange new worlds and boldly go where no man has gone before. The goal is to replace what is lost, nothing more. Here's why. Once you're on TRT for a longer time, your testicles stop making testosterone. They shrink. You're dependent for life. It can damage fertility. Sperm counts often drop. Your blood can get thicker, raising your risk for heart attack or stroke. I've got four patients like that right now. We had to cut their dose and they felt it. And prostate cancer? 
No proof that TRT causes it, but if you already have an undetected one, it could be fuel on the fire. That's why we check PSA. Always. But here's the thing. All of that, the risks, the numbers, the warnings, is still only half the story. The real problem isn't in your blood, it's in your head. Or better, in the story you've been sold. And by the way, please check the like button now and subscribe. So what's the real problem? It's called framing, the story we wrap around a word. Testosterone has been turned into the hormonal Swiss army knife, supposedly the fix for everything, energy, strength, sex, mood, you name it. Sold in clinics, online, even on social media. Over time, it's been reframed into the hormone, the hello I can fix everything hormone. And that's big business. But here's the truth. Reality is a lot less glamorous. It's not sleek and shiny. It's sweaty. It's work. Life is hard and most of you watching are my age or older. We've all learned the same lesson. Nothing in life is free and nothing is guaranteed. Why would testosterone be any different? What they don't tell you is this. You can't inject yourself out of a bad lifestyle. Physical activity and the right diet will do more for your well-being than a needle ever will. Good for you, bad for them. No money to be made. Now for the big finale. What about me? Do I use it? What the urologist does himself undoubtedly tells a lot about the trust he puts into his own therapies. The truth is, I'm not supplementing with testosterone. Not that I don't believe in it, but I have no need. Not yet. Because there may come a time when symptoms may set in. And if testosterone is low, why not? It's in the guidelines. Testosterone is a very powerful hormone and it's important for men. And who knows, maybe should I become old enough to experience frailty, maybe I'll throw all the guidelines overboard and go for it. At that point, there's nothing to lose and months of life to gain. That will be my call, my moment, outside the book, but on my terms. That's the difference. If you want to know more about boosting your testosterone naturally, then watch the videos from this playlist. Subscribe, like and share if you haven't and I'll see you next time. I'm Dr. Stefan Buntrock, always copied, never matched.